Welcome to the first session on Microfocus's TrueWeb protocol. This is the first in a set of tutorial videos about the next generation of Web HTTP HTML protocol. In this video, we are going to review the installation process of TrueWeb as a standalone component. If you are using either Load Runner or Performance Center, TrueWeb is already deployed into the bin folder of your installation. We will start by downloading TrueWeb from the Microfocus Application Delivery Marketplace. The link will be in the description. You can see that there are two components, the TrueWeb Engine, which is the basic download that we will use for this video, and the Proxy Recorder, which will be explained in the third video of this series. You can see that we have three flavors of TrueWeb, Windows, Ubuntu Linux, and Mac. TrueWeb is cross-platform, so you can download the flavor appropriate for your operating system. Once the file has been downloaded, extract the zip file to any accessible location on your machine. In this folder, you will see multiple executables and configuration files. These are the files you will need to generate scripts and execute them. We will define TrueWeb path as a machine level environment variable. This environment variable is required if you wish to use TrueWeb in any other IDE such as Vuegen, Atom.io or any other JavaScript editor. It will be defined automatically with any installation of ViewGen. We will go to the Machine Environment Variables Editor. Let's add a new environment variable called TrueWebPath. Note the all uppercase letters. The value should be the folder where we extracted the zip. In this case, it is C slash TrueWeb. Use the OK button to approve your changes. Now restart any application that you would like to use TrueWeb in. Let's now go through the steps to have TrueWeb integrated with Atom.io. For Atom.io, we have created a plugin that can be downloaded from the marketplace. Extract the zip into your Atom.io plugins folder. In Linux, macOS, it is commonly the user home folder .atom slash packages. Start Atom IO. You can see the True Web menu. This means that the plugin has been successfully deployed. You can either run a single user to test your script and use the run scenario to execute a load test using your script's scenario YAML file. Thank you for watching this video about installing True Web standalone. You are invited to watch our next video, Generating a TrueWeb Script via an HAR file.